Hello guys, welcome to today's vlog. The hair is a little crazy, but that's okay. I haven't washed it in about four days and I'm gonna get to it tonight. It is a beautiful rainy cold morning. These are my type of days and this weather just makes me happy and that is great because I am about to go to something that I have been pushing off. I was supposed to do this last year, but I procrastinated because I didn't want to do it. Um, I, was just, I was just not ready for it, okay? And today's the day. I'm about to go change my last name. I know that for some people, changing their name after they get married is like the best thing they can do. Like they can't wait to change their name. It's been difficult for me. Don't get me wrong, I want to do it. Um, I chose to do it. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I have to do in order to get everything set. To change my names and yeah i've been procrastinating and it's a very long process to get everything set and ready with changing your whole name but the theme for this year is embracing change that is my goal for this year i know there's a lot of things that will change for me this year and i just have to take it one step at a time and just embrace everything that comes with change everything that has to happen for change to happen and all that stuff and it's crazy because last night i was just thinking how this is the last day i mean yesterday was the last day with my last name and after and after today like my last name is not gonna be the same i'm gonna change my last name i was just overthinking getting anxious and this morning when i woke up I checked my phone, like the alarm went off, and I checked my phone, and it was 5.55, 555, five, five. and if you guys know anything about angel numbers, 555 five, five is the number for change, and I have been seeing this number since, I want to say September of last year, and I think since September of last year, September, October of last year, I have been embracing this number for me because I've known that change is coming, and it's just crazy that I saw it this morning again. I'm gonna head out now because I want to be the first one there so they don't take long doing this. I think I have everything I need so let's go get that done. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am so nervous for no reason. Like, I knew this was coming, I knew this was gonna happen and don't get me wrong, I do want this but it's a bittersweet moment. We did it, I mean I did it, it's done. It was a really quick process actually. I was in and out out of there. I went in like at 9:10 because it took me a while to find the office because I didn't know it was on the second floor. I I couldn't find the door to go up to the second floor. Um but I did. I had to wait. Um the people there were so nice. The security guard actually he was so nice. We had a full on conversation because he saw the book I was reading. Um I'm still reading Aragon and I took the book in with me because I knew I was going to wait. I didn't know how long I was going to wait. And I wanted to have something to keep my mind out of the whole process, out of the situation. So he he's like, no way, I read this when I was 13. I'm like, everyone read these when they were young, except for me. Um, I told him about the new book that just came out last year. So that was really nice. Um, he was sweet. And it always helps when people are helpful. So then I waited because they were getting people in who had an appointment. I was a walk-in. That's why I tried to be here like first thing in the morning because I knew I didn't have an appointment. So I had to wait for like, I want to say 20 minutes only. And then they called my number and the girl was so nice. Um, I even helped her out with answering a few questions from another process that I had to go through. And one of her family members um might be able to go through that process but anyways she was asking me questions and so I helped her out and yeah I thought it was funny but really nice because she was young she was um she was younger than me probably she was so nice so helpful she didn't make me nervous it was so quick it was like the easiest thing I've ever done in my life and I thought it was gonna take forever all that to say it was a really easy nice process and I think the people that help you have a lot to do with that and i'm just grateful i'm gonna get my new card in about two weeks but i can actually go to the dmv by monday and change that as well because i also will need my 
my new license and change address everything it's just a whole process guys changing your last name is a whole process because it's not just that it's bank it's um work stuff it's everything so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun i'm gonna go to barnes and noble because i want to get coffee and i need to use the restroom i'm gonna do this quick because there's a lot of people just got out of Barnes and Nobles. I ended up getting The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I did read this when it first came out. Love the book. It's been a few years since I read it, but this is actually the book that we chose for the book club that we have with my friends. One of them is already halfway into the book and she's loving it. So I'm glad that she is. And I know it's like 10 out of 10. I can't wait to reread this and I can't believe that I didn't buy it. I remember not buying it because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it when it first came out because of the hype, you know, all that. But I got it. Um, I do have the audiobook, I believe, but I wanted the physical copy. I love Taylor Jenkins Reid and I just, I had to have that book. Can't believe I still didn't have it. And I also got myself a little treat. This is an Oreo brownie and uh yes please i need all the treats that i can get myself today and all the chocolate apparently because i also got a java chip frappe with peppermint and it's so delicious chocolate and peppermint are amazing so and oat milk of course now i get to go back to work how fun <laughs> I got home about an hour ago, almost, almost an hour ago, and I am I'm debating whether I want to clean the house, if I want to lay down and read, but if I do that, I feel like I'm going to fall asleep, and I really don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to take a nap, I don't want to take a nap because it is 6.18 at the moment, and I want to have a really good night of sleep, um, but what I'm thinking is like I can, my husband's going to be here at 7. Um, I have until 7 and what I can do is get ahead on the cleaning bit. I did a little bit last night. I went to dust and I want to clean the restrooms. And honestly, that would be like ideal, ideal to do. But I also want to record something tomorrow. And I was thinking about doing like an outline and just making sure that I have all the talking points that I want to do. The thing is that I don't want to clean tomorrow. I'm just talking myself into cleaning right now because I really don't want to but I have to. Do you guys ever do that? Like of course I just want to sit down, rest, read, paint, watch a video, whatnot. But we have chores to do. Honestly, the only time I have to clean is tonight. So. I'm going to do that. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. It is very early in the morning. And it is a beautiful, beautiful day. It's raining. Like, it's actually pouring. Um, rain is coming down. And I love this type of mornings. Like, I would love, I would love to sit down on this couch and read and have a cup of coffee. But that's not the case today. I have a hair appointment right now. And looking at my hair, I really like this color. But I don't know if I want to go lighter or keep it this way. And then just go lighter during the summer. I don't know what to do. I honestly want to keep it safe. Because my sister's getting married this month. So I obviously don't want to, you know. I don't want to do anything drastic or something that I'm not gonna like. I have about two hours to decide what to do. I'm honestly gonna get my sister's opinion on it. My hair is actually very shiny and I like that. Like, you know, it's soft. I, I take care of it. Not really, but you know, I try. I love my hair. I have a few things to do before we head out because I'm gonna go pick up my sister and I want to go get bundles for my family and maybe coffee you know for the drive it's gonna be nice so so come with me to change my hair because it needs help it, it needs help like it's been four months since the last time and you guys i'm getting so many so many gray hairs i don't know where they came from but you know age 
I guess. And they were like, hi, hello, we're here to stay. I might also cut it because it's pretty long. I mean, I like my hair long, so it's just gonna be a trim. Let's get going because for once in my life, I'm on time, so I don't wanna jinx that. Didn't get to show you my hair yesterday. I got it done. I decided to stick to the same color because I really love this color. It's very close to my own hair color, just prettier. I didn't want to go lighter just yet. I think I'm gonna wait until the summer, you know, to go a bit lighter, if anything. But I am so in love with this color. Like, I got it last time. I literally just toned it down because my hair has red undertones and, you know, like, once it starts fading, it starts getting red, and I don't like the coppery look of it. Just loving the hair, but you guys are not going to believe me. I decided to leave the camera here at home because it was pouring. If you guys are aware, California had the craziest storm ever, and it was raining. It was pouring. When I say it was pouring all day long, it was pouring all day long, like nonstop. So I decided to leave my camera here at the house. Then I drove to my mom's house because I was going to meet up with my sister. We go together to get our hair done. It's like a sister bonding time for us because she has kids. She lives in the same town as my parents. It's just a nice time that we get to hang out together and catch up and just just me and her. So I really enjoy driving out there. It is a very long drive, trust me, but I love it. And yeah, I left the camera here. I was going to record with my phone, but then guess what? I left my phone at my mom's house so when she picked me up at my mom's I left my phone there and I didn't even realize until we got to the place because I got in that car and we started talking didn't need my phone I, I mean she was using her phone for the music we were not even listening to music really we were just chatting the whole time and once we got there I was looking for my phone and I realized I had left it at my mom's so I didn't even get a chance to record the whole process of me getting my hair done and the aftermath and then because of the storm I get home and we lose power we lost power we didn't have power I didn't get to edit the video that I had to edit to upload so I'm gonna try to do that right now but I'm cooking um which actually I have to turn this on but first I'm gonna make dinner and then I'm gonna get to edit the vlog hopefully I have it up by Wednesday we will see but let me get this going because <laughs> the water's boiling. I got perfume samples and I wanted to share them with you guys. I was going to do an unboxing. Totally forgot about that. Where did it go? I forgot I was going to do an unboxing with you guys to show you and, you know, smell them with you guys. But I forgot and I opened the package uh, this morning. But I still wanted to talk about them because they are perfume samples. I was watching Mary Skinner here on YouTube. She went to New York Fashion Week. And the maker, I believe, it's a hotel in New York. But they have perfumes and candles and everything. And they have the store there in New York. I don't think there's a store anywhere else but there. And I'm not sure. And I believe it's like next to the hotel or in the hotel. Something like that. I'm not sure. But the maker I was very intrigued because I have been looking for new perfumes. I just wear the same ones on a daily. And I love perfumes. I love wearing perfumes every day. And I was very intrigued by them. She mentioned that she had almost all of them. And when she went, they gifted her a few more to complete her collection. I went on their website and they had a few samples. You could choose three different ones. And it was $20, but those $20 go into the first, like, you can use those $20, they give you a coupon. And if you end up getting a perfume, you can use that coupon and it goes into the purchase. So I decided to try them out. I honestly thought that the samples were going to be bigger than this, but here they are, you know. It's, it's fine. So I wanted to share them with you guys because I really liked one. I was hoping... That I would not like more than one because they are very pricey and at least I wanted to like at least one so I could maybe purchase it and I'm very happy to say that it happened. I chose Paradiso, Lover and Wild. There were a few other options. They are gender inclusive and I can totally see that from smelling these. I really enjoy Paradiso and this one I wish I had I threw away the 
I throw away the little papers, like the information that it comes with. This one smells, it smells more like a leaf. Um, I can't remember the name of the leaf. Uh, this one smells so good. This one smells more masculine than feminine, if anything. So I love, I love masculine perfumes. And this one has the undertones of that. And it's so good. Like this one for the for nighttime would be amazing. I'm really thinking about this one. I'm not sure though. Um, but yeah, it smells so good. Um, I did get Lover. And honestly, this one is like this one came halfway empty or halfway full, whatever you like to say. But like not even not even the sample was full. And I'm okay with that because out of all three, I did not enjoy this smell. It's it's not for me. I did not like it. To me, it smells like a funeral home, and that's not a very good smell. Um I was thinking that maybe for a candle it would be good, but I wouldn't burn this in my house. Personally, I just don't like the smell. Um, but I knew from the description when I chose the sample, based on the description, Wild was one of the ones that I knew it was possible that I would really, really enjoy. And I wasn't wrong. This one smells delicious. I love the smell and I think I'm going to buy it. I it just, it has to happen. I want to smell like this every day. It's so good. It has peach and sandalwood and something else. But it's it's floral. It's on not on the sweet side. These are not sweet, like sweets, like those um, empalagoso flavors. Like it just, it's so, it's so good. The sandalwood is just, it gives it that masculine uh, smell that I was telling you guys about. And I just, I love it so much. I want to smell like this all day, every day. And the peach is not, like, it doesn't give you, like, the the fake peach overwhelming um, smell. But it's really, it's amazing. I really, enjoy, I really like it. Even as a candle, if they have this as a candle, that would, I, I bet that smells so good. But I just wanted to share them with you guys because... If you guys are looking for perfumes, they have little samples that you guys can try out. And the bottles look so cute. So I'm trying these ones out and I might get one. That is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys soon.